Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request, where it's a review of the movie Children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest. And this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber Roms Reviews with Lauren G. I swear they're out to kill me. Or at least my sanity. It's the story of a couple of young boys named Eli and Joshua. And as you learn in the movie, if you choose to watch this, Eli is a killer. He worships he who walks behind the rose. Well, Eli and Joshua are adopted by a couple who lives in Chicago named William and Amanda. And sometime after they get there, Eli starts preaching his word about, you know, he who walks behind the rose, gets a bunch of the school children to follow his words, and becomes somewhat of a cult leader, like, you know, all, you know, I don't know, like, um, David Koresh, or that guy who made people drink Kool-Aid. Yeah, the Kool-Aid man, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the children are almost like transformed, hypnotized, whatever you want to call it, and following Eli's every word, and Eli goes on a most ridiculous killing spree, killing people in extremely idiotic ways. I'd like to go into how many, how many ways there were, but trust me, there's just far too many to even describe. Uh, he grows a cornfield in Chicago... <laughs> And when his adopted mother goes to try and tear the cornfield down, it does no good, and she winds up uh, getting killed by a, by uh, some sort of a water pipe. His, his adopted dad winds up getting killed off, too, later on in the movie, so, yeah. Uh, Joshua wants to kind of live a normal life. He does not want to keep following in the footsteps of his younger brother, but it turns out his younger brother has not aged since 1964. Yeah. What's his secret? I don't know. Great weight loss program, I assume. And he probably exercises regularly. And I don't know. Maybe he's a vegetarian. Probably explains the corn. So, yeah. So, he who walks behind the rose, or as we may bet better know him as, the corn monster finally shows his ugly face in this movie and Joshua winds up defeating it and Eli and it seems like all is well with the world until we find out earlier in the movie that um, that William was trying to sell some of the corn that Eli was growing because it uh, you know it has no it, it doesn't spoil doesn't go bad or anything like that and when the end of the movie comes, we find out that the corn that William was trying to uh, sell winds up in Germany. And you sit there and go, oh, that's a bad thing. Well, of course it is a bad thing, because this was a bad movie. Oh, my God. The effects in this movie were god-awful terrible. Uh, one kid gets his, gets his neck pulled up out of his body like 10 feet in the air uh, a social worker gets some sort of a flame blown into her mouth like it's like it's supposed to be that uh, hairspray lighter effect but turn uh, just just trust me th this movie was full of some of the most god-awful gore and special effects you, you may ever see in this entire series well probably since part two and part two sucked too and yes there will be a review of part two very very soon but this movie really, 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 really started going downhill. Uh, the, fir the first one was good. The second one, not so good. And, th and then the third one hit, and I was just like, I'm out of this crap. I I've had enough. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest. Which probably has to be one of the stupidest additional titles to a horror movie since... I don't know when. But that is that definitely has to go down as one of the worst. So there you guys have it. Special thanks to Rom's Reviews with Lauren G for his request. Hopefully he got through this better than I did. And if you like my videos, 
feel free to subscribe. And if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that made you want to shuck something into your own eyes after watching it, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And until next time, for Doc Schlock, by request, as always, stay strong and rock on. And uh, when you're going through Nebraska and you see a cornfield, just keep on driving.